UFOs and the White House. July 1947, new threats of war and a new enemy, the Soviet Union. That false philosophy is communism. Has Americans looking to the sky. Some say they see UFOs. President Harry S. Truman is informed of a possible incident in New Mexico. Suddenly Roswell occurs, they have a press leak, uh, it started getting picked up all over the country. I see him as the first president to actually deal with the UFO issue in a public sense. And Truman was the man on the spot when this stuff hit big time. Truman is an absolute critical key in looking at the entire UFO phenomenon in the early years. We know that these presidents were being briefed orally, if nothing else, on the topic of flying saucers. Now, this is not something that you're going to read in Harry Truman's memoirs. And it's not something that you're going to read about in an academic treatment of the Truman administration. And yet we know absolutely that it happened. How do we know this? We know it from the man who gave Truman his briefings. And that was General Robert Landry, who was a colonel at the time in the Air Force. President Truman rewarded Landry, his personal pilot, for his exemplary service by appointing him as his Air Force aide on UFOs to consult with the CIA on the subject. And that he was told to report to the president orally and brief him orally every three months on the subject in UFOs, which he said he did up until the president left office. By my estimation, that could be as many as 18 briefings. Wouldn't you love to be a fly on the wall of some of those conversations? It's done orally. We don't want uh, records. If you don't want it on the front page of the New York Times, don't put it in a file, that kind of idea. But an incident said to have occurred in the nation's capital was impossible to ignore. 1952 is just, again, one of these very significant years in UFO history. A massive wave of, of very high quality sightings by military and civilians all across the U.S culminating in successive weekends in July of 1952 of UFOs over the Capitol. It was like invasion type stuff. Things would disappear, the fighter jets would go back, the things would reappear, and it showed that the government was very um, sort of out, of out of control. They couldn't control it. It was such a big thing that the, the press made it the front page. It was the front page of the New York Times. Truman took the subject head on. So there was less hesitation on the part of public leaders to talk about flying saucers. Harry Truman did so um, in the 1950s during one press conference. Did the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, talk to you or concern you about the un unknown and the unidentified flying objects? Oh yes, we discussed it at every conference that we had with the military, and they never had been, a never were able to make me a concrete report on. Do you have anything on the subject, sir? No, I haven't, I haven't anything on the subject. And they, 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 there's always things like that going on. Uh, flying saucers, and they've had other things, you know. 